everybody. I want to welcome you back to Nick's Deli. Yeah, so I wanted to hop on here real quick, talk to y'all a little bit, boss. Yeah, we talking Drew Holiday. We're going to talk about these Boston Celtics today, all right? And this is why it's important. It's absolutely important to remember, Nick fans, you got to hold your frame. You got to hold your head and you got to hold your frame. Anytime summer times come up, you see how late in the summer that trades are being pulled off, that moves are being made. This is why I always laugh. Sometimes at Knicks fans, when they're like, oh, the Knicks ain't doing nothing. Knicks ain't make a move by like July 15th. Everybody's always on something about the New York Knicks and what they are and what they're not doing, okay? Drew Holiday is out there and he is now a Boston Celtic. I'll give you that, I'll give you that. When I saw that, I was just like, similar to the Bucks. They're good, but this is not gonna be enough, okay? Now, Boston's a little bit different. I ain't even gonna hold you. If you look at their lineup, very easily, they can plug all of their new acquisitions in the starting lineup. So you'll be looking at Jeru Holiday at point guard. You're gonna be looking at Jalen Brown at the two, you're going to be looking at Jason Tatum at the three. And then you're going to be looking at Porzingis at the four. And then they'll plug in whoever it is they plug in at the five. Or they can easily interchangeably move around those pieces. So their versatility, their defense in the starting lineup should be of concern to anybody in the Eastern Conference, to anybody in the NBA. But like I was saying, with... The, the the Milwaukee Bucks, you got to put it together. You have to put it together. On paper, on paper, they look like a mother flipping problem. On paper. But on the court, you got to know how to put it together. You're going to have to learn how to put it together. So I look at it. I look at it. I think it's a great move by the Boston Celtics. I think it is a great move by the Boston Celtics. Uh, they are a veteran team. They have high, high talented players. Alone with um, Drew Holiday and Jalen Brown in their starting lineup, you have defense on the backcourt. Defense on the perimeter is outstanding. So they're going to be a problem for a lot of teams. You have Porzingis who is a seven foot two uh, shooting power forward. If they put him sometimes at center, you know, he, he's, he's elite. He's an elite matchup if he stays healthy. Now for that entire, that entire lineup, that's gonna be the question. That's gonna be the question for the Boston Celtics health. Can they string together a healthy season? Drew Holiday, Jalen Brown, Chris Stapps Porzingis, Health is the order of the day. They don't necessarily have time on their side either. Those are veteran bodies. So health 100% becomes a factor, which is why I say on paper, they definitely look like a problem. But in real life, they're gonna have to get it together. They're gonna have to string it together. They're going to have to string it together. Now, anytime a team makes moves such as this, I always think in terms of our team and that team, how do we look against them? How do we match up? Well, at the point guard position, I say this. You know, Jalen Brunson is an offensive player. But when we came up against the Bucks, Drew Holiday was the remedy to Brunson. I don't know if you guys remember those matchups a few times. But his length and his defensive dedicated dedication and ability, it gave Brunson problems. I believe he may have shut Brunson down. I have to go back and look at the numbers. But whatever the map, whatever the numbers say, I, I remember leaving away, walking away from that game saying, damn, you know, like that, that's that's the remedy. Because he was super disruptive to 
Brunson and anywhere that Brunson was trying to go on the court. I remember that clearly and vividly. And then I think about the wings. If I'm thinking at the two with Grimes, you know, if it's Jalen Brown or, or Tatum, you know, their size can present some problems. Their athleticism can present some problems. But I think Grimes is hard-nosed enough to be able to take care of that, okay? So I also think when it comes to the four, if we're looking at KP and Julius, you know, KP presents a lot of challenges um, to a lot of forwards in the league when he's on top of his game, when he decides to stretch the floor. But Julius has been giving that man that work over the past few years. I ain't even going to lie to you. Where Julius Randle is now, more and more, as each passing year comes up, you can't knock this man, you know, playoffs, yes, you look at certain performances in the playoffs, but you got to remember the past few years has been his introduction as the main guy in the playoffs. So he's still getting his familiarity footing under him. But over the past few years, regular season, when he goes into a matchup, that man comes out with his points. That man has been coming out not only with his points, but with wins. So I would love to look at that. And I think in terms of him versus uh, Porzingis, no matter what your rankings say, these random ass rankings that come out, no matter what they say, Julius is giving them that work. Julius is going to give them that work. Yeah. And then, you know, the center, I don't care who they got out there. Our guy's going to get his boards. He going to block shots. And he's going to hold down the paint. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, once again, look at our lineup. Before we ooh and I and ooh will let anybody else, we need to recognize what we have on this team. We also need to recognize who we have on the bench that makes this thing go. No matter what your complaints are, when you get to this point where the Knicks are and position for position, we're competitive. <clears throat> don't got to be better. It don't have to be elite. But we always wished, first and foremost, for the longest time to be competitive. And when we are position for position competitive with these teams in the league, then the coaching makes a difference. And y'all can say what y'all want. Y'all can say what y'all want all you want. But there's not many coaches out there that are available who are better than Tom Thibodeau. And if they are, how long is it going to take for those coaches to come in to the team, incorporate their system, and then realize the current players don't fit their system, and then we're back to square one, shopping for players that fit the philosophy of a new coach. So be clear, this is the team, the system, the personnel that we are rolling with. This is the culture that we have established that I believe is going to outlast the people in those positions. And what I mean by that is the structure that Tom Thibodeau is setting up, Johnny Bryant will inherit it, tweak it, but keep it. Because this is now, no matter how you feel, the personality and the identity is back to New York basketball. Defensive minded, workers, blue collar, bring your lunch pails to work, grind it out and win. That's the identity of New York. That's the culture that we want. When players sit at the free agency table, that's what we want discussed. That's what they, when they think about seeing themselves in the blue and orange jersey, under orange and blue skies, we want them to say, do I bring the qualifications? Do I bring the characteristics of Nick culture when I step into this uniform, when I sign this piece of paper? Do I fit and know what it is, the culture and the identity they're trying to fit in? We want them to know that right off the bat. We want them to come to the table and say, I believe this is what I bring to the New York Nick uniform and I can build on the legacy of those who've come before me. That's what we want to see. So the Boston Celtics, good move. Round of applause for you. Round of mother flipping applause for you. But it's not enough. 
So Boston fans, live it up. Be happy. You do got yourself a 33-year-old point guard who's known for defense and effort position and effort skill set, requiring healthy body, mind, spirit, in tune. They're short term. They're in it for now. They're, they're in it to win it. Let's let them beat each other up. New York Knicks fans, keep this in mind. We don't know, we don't gotta face all of those teams in the playoffs. By the time we show up, at minimum, we're facing three in the Eastern Conference. So we're gonna let the animals and savages eat each other up. And then they gotta come to the Mecca and face the New York Knicks. And I'm confident with what we bring to the table as a squad. Keep this in mind. Same thing applies to life. That applies to our team. If there's no struggle, there's no progress. That's our mentality. And we ain't got to worry about nobody else. God damn it, they got to worry about us. Everybody eats. Here in Nick's Deli. Peace.